the statement, just kind of uh, this opportunity needs to host, and uh, we'll take questions. Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know, we had a, a, a nice day to kind of have that moment and then to get the opportunity and um, get out in the community and be so grateful and humble. And um, But, you know, that right now we're, we're, it's starting to feel different. I mean, it's time to really focus in on the tournament that we have this weekend. We have, we're have we playing some great teams. We're playing them at home, and um, that's pretty much where our minds are. So, But did we enjoy that selection show? Yes, we absolutely did. Uh, the hugs and the, and the tears and the eruption and everything was just fantastic. Um, did we take yesterday to try to generate a ton of interest in this community and, and get things going and get things rolling? Uh, we did. And then we're going to transition into business-like mode real, real quickly now because uh, – uh, after we get some pitches thrown out, I guess, tonight. <laughs> after that, um, we'll, we'll get ready and locked and loaded because uh, we take this very seriously, and we're, we're excited to have the opportunity. Um, and we, we need every advantage you can in the NCAA, and if, if this gives us a huge advantage, and we are taking it without any apologies. Um, but we also have a team that gets to drive here that's just down the road. And they're on our radar, and it's an advantage for them too. So sometimes when you play at home in the NCAA, you get somebody, I don't know, maybe you're – it's someone from out west gets shipped down here or something like we've dealt with, but uh, that's not the case. So as much as it is advantage for us, um, they get to load up some buses and bring their fans too. So um, that's, you know, we're facing that reality and we're ready for it. What, what can you tell us about Florida Golf Clubs, about their team? They're the, the best three-point shooting team in the nation. You know, they make 10 a game, and that's a challenge for us. That's a challenge for everyone they play. Their style is, is very um, unorthodox. It's fantastic. It's just not something that – um, Florida State, Duke, you know, we haven't seen it in a while. So uh, we have some adjustments to make there. And um, they, they are – they have a great mindset. They always have. He does such a great job. So um, it's a lot of work. We're going to have to cover a lot of ground. We're going to have to really love our defense. And, um, you know, they don't make a ton of mistakes. You said you've reached out or you want to reach out to the community. What parts of the community can you reach out to? Because the student body's not here. It's right. Spring break. What can you do to – Well, see, Miami's a little different because <laughs> – just because there's not classes doesn't mean the students left. <laughs> a lot of these students are here. They're here, and their friends are visiting them. So, um, I mean, y'all got friends, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> we. Uh, yes, and and their their dorm rooms are got some air mattresses on them. So we got some other fans. They're their friends. So their spring breakers can come and uh, you know take a couple hours off uh, of the uh, South Beach style and come in here and and cheer us on. Right. So far, you know, just how much are you enjoying that part before you dive into the business part of this? Well, I just, I just really believe that, you know, in an opportunity like this, it's, it's a big moment for this program. And like I said, not Katie Meyer, not Adrian Motley, Jessica Thomas, but the University of Miami and, and um, the vision that, you know, when they came here, they shared their vision with me. And when I came here, I shared my vision with, you know, Paul D and the people that hired me. Like this is really important, and. You had to see stuff like this happening here, or you, I wouldn't have taken the job. They, they, I wouldn't, if I didn't think this was a possibility, I wouldn't have taken the job, and these two superstars wouldn't have come. So, but to, to push that vision through and to actually have it happen is a big moment for us, and I need the community to get that because it's been 12 years of, of my life down here. Um, but I think in the last four or five years, um, it's just been we've just said, hey, you know what, we don't go away. So I think there was a, a weird we're blip on a radar or is this a program that's sustaining success? And I think that that comes with administrative support and it comes with community support. And so as much as I'm out here trying to generate interest, I'm also out here just with an open heart saying thanks, you know, thank you very much because it's a big deal for us. Is there a danger sometimes in being home that people, that your players will be too comfortable? Or I mean, it's yeah. the same as a huge advantage. Okay, but yeah. When you have everyone on the road, everyone's together, everyone's focused right. on one thing. When you're home, you have the home distractions also. Yep. Yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to go to a hotel mm -hmm. um, Friday. So when they show up Friday for you know, the NCAA practice and all that other stuff where we're treating it. And it's not that I don't trust my players uh, at all. That's not it. But, you know, we, there, we can't be in a regular routine for a home game because we don't have class. Mm -hmm. So which routine are we – I'm all about routine, and I think, you know, there's 35 days a year you got to be pretty darn good, and this is one of them. So we're going to pick a routine, and since our home routine would be a little disrupted anyway, we're going to choose the road routine. Mm -hmm. hey, when, you, when you play a team who's number one in the nation for three-point shooting, mm -hmm. how, how big is the spacing of your defense? Just, you know, how do you practice that? 
Right. It, it, it's difficult. It's a challenge. We do have some teams in the conference that have similar spacing, but um, there's usually more of a like a Boston College, but then they have a dominant post player, so you're making choices. Well, there's not – I mean, we, there's no choice. Go. You, know, you better go ch challenge that shot. At the same time, when a team is as committed as they are, they make 10, they shoot 30. There's 20 misses somewhere. And what happens to those? And so you have to be strategic about that as well. I mean, um, and because they're committed to it, and they're not going to change just because they're playing. It, it's, they've done it for years. So that's our, that's our choice. That's what we control. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's this particular matchup uh, for us is thank God that our depth is tested. Um, you, you, they're, they're, they move the ball, you know, really well. So, you know, do you guard you guard north south a lot, but you got to go east west. So um, it's going to take everybody on my roster out there challenging and giving effort and everything else. So if I was a coach that only played seven, I, w I wouldn't be sleeping right now because you, can't, you need all the depth that you have and you need to match their energy. They play a ton of players, but we do too. So I think that's good for us. What can you say about the two players you have up here and, and what they've been? I heard on senior day you talked yeah. about them, but just, just going into this and what they can mean to the program. Well, uh, it's I, – I can't – I mean, it's, it's – it's, um, they're just, they came in so humble, but hungry, but confident. I'm, I'm humble in a sense of what can we do? I know, not what are you going to do for me? It was, what can we do? And we want to do something Miami's never done. And they followed some great players, you know, but they came because those great players were gone. And so they had that inner confidence. They wouldn't have come, I mean, y'all wouldn't have come here if there was someone with, you know, they wanted to start, they wanted to play a ton early, and they had that opportunity. And, but they were humble and, and just citizens for the program. And so all this stuff that's happening right now, you know, they've been carrying this program, carrying this program. But I'm talking not just the team. I mean the program. I mean, they're fat heads. And I look at the stands and I see fat heads of these two. No. <laughs> it's, no, but that's it. Like the, to be the face of the program for so many years and to, to do it with such grace and such um, – Humility has been very touching to me. So some people come into your lives and they, you know, you get a lot of wins out of them. I don't even know how many wins we've gotten, but boy, am I proud of who they are. And I'm really proud that they've just said, this is, this is what the University of Miami is. Coach, you mentioned your first time opponent, obviously, can shoot the ball and talk about their offense. Their defense, I think, gives up 36 mm -hmm. points, 30% mm -hmm. three-point shooting. Right. You know, pretty good across the board. Can you touch on that a little bit? What, what's the challenge of, of you getting points against that defense? Yeah, actually, that's really good because um, they are great. And they they play defense uh, with a team concept in mind. There, there's going to be mismatches. They're going to be vulnerable. Uh, but they cover up their vulnerabilities. They don't have a ton of size. But people don't score inside on them because of their Pac-Man defense. And um, so it a lot of times, too, the other team's just tired. <laughs> Started chasing them around. And so they take just tired shots. Um, you got to have a really mature team, and you got to make sure that um, – you know, we have to make sure we take Miami shots on the offensive end and not just get, um, you know, in, into a kind of a, oh, I'm, I'll show you. I'm going to do my isolation against you. They want you to kind of feel that way. And uh, I just think we're a little bit more sophisticated than that, and we're going to need to be. I know you mentioned on the radio yesterday when we went up here the first time you were going to look at the film and mm -hmm. your scout and everything from that board. Right. That first, that one time right. you played against them. Have, is there anything that you saw? I'm not going to tell you that. You did go back there and, and look at some of that. Yeah, right yeah. It's, uh, it was on a DVD, to be honest with you. So <laughs> I said, could someone burn this for me, please? I haven't watched a DVD. Um, but, yeah, I've, uh, yeah. Um, well, you have to be disruptive. You have to be disruptive. They're, they've got great rhythm, and uh, they have great isolation moves one-on-one. -on -one, so uh, you have to be disruptive. That That's confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that's going to be, you know, maybe a, a post-weekend reflection because uh, I, I, I can't, I won't do that to these guys. I'm, I'm all in right now, right, right now for them. And so um, I do think um, 
for the community to recognize this program and to kind of come in. It, that's important, but that's important for them too because it's it's like they've just done all this work here and uh, you know, um, and now they know it's their last time playing at home. You know, and um, they they deserve a great crowd. Um, I know she was. You called Beats right away. Yeah. On Monday, have you had a chance to catch up and just yeah. you know the the fact that she's coming here with her program and her staff. Right. And how much does that even add to just what this means to all of us. I'll tell you what's really been um, sort of puts me in my place, and I don't mean like knock me down. It really puts me in my place of where I'm very comfortable, which is not, you know, Skeet, as her assistant, was here too. Pam Brown on her team was my first recruit. Uh, uh, Pam Brown, who's on her staff, was my very first recruit at Charlotte when I was a head coach. And then, like, our practice guy that became our manager is their video guy, okay? That's one story. But to get ready to play Florida Gulf Coast, I go and watch Lynn Bria at Stetson, two games. Well, she works here. And then Derek Gibbs at North Florida. And those are the games that I'm watching, the most recent games. And Gibbs was with me the whole time, too. So um, it puts me in my place, you know, in terms of do I feel good about um, the impact uh, on lives and, and to the success of this program launching young people and I mean yeah I feel great about it I just feel awesome about it so I'm happy for Keeks but um you know this is something that uh this is why I love the University of Miami and I love this is a crazy profession but like I'm looking at these people going I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud of you and it humbles me I don't I mean if you're done hearing from me I don't know I'm good Oh, um, can you guys both just talk about being home for this and, and uh, you know, does it feel different from the previous, like from last year traveling? How's it different going into the NCAA first round game home versus getting on the plane to California? Well. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> well, I mean, like you said, we're not going to California, so we're not doing a lot of traveling. Um, but. Um, as far as our mindset, um, we might be just a little more hungrier, to be honest. Um, just knowing, you know, how we got upset last year in the first round and had to take that long plane ride back. Um, I, I honestly think we're, we're, it's the, we're a little more sharp, I guess I should say, um, because we got to make sure we take care of business, especially since we're playing home. I mean, it's not really pressure, but it's, it's something, it's an opportunity out there where, we got to make sure we handle business first things first. And the fact that it's your last time as seniors is a different going in as a senior than as a junior where you, somewhere in the back of your mind you know there's another year but now you know there isn't. Well, I mean, you you honestly play like there's no other game after this. Um because you never know. Um but as a senior it's just our veteranship has to step up and we have to just like I said just take one game at a time um and make sure we handle business. Mark, can you um, well, I'm just glad we're not going anywhere where it's snowing and <laughs> we get to stay here and wear shorts outside. But um, like JT said, we're seniors. And um, this, like Coach said, also this is our last time playing here regardless, point blank period. So um, we just want to go out, um, you know, not with a chip on our shoulder, but, you know, we have a lot to prove. And, you know, hosting was just, you know, one of the things we wanted to do. And Coach um, has, like, the same with tournaments, and this is one of the tournaments that we have to win. And I think that's, um, you know, our biggest focus right now is, you know, just every game survive in advance is the big, you know, March logo. So, um, you know, we just want to keep pressing ahead and just keep going forward. Come on, we can start with you. You know, Coach has been out there mm -hmm. making sure people know this is here this weekend, making mm -hmm. sure people know what you guys can do. What are you all doing? Are you, are you, <laughs> are you texting friends and family? Are you guys, how are you serving as, as trying to help? Get people here. Um, well, people actually, like, as soon as, you know, people saw that we were hosting, I was getting texts about, you know, when are you guys playing, what time, and stuff like that. So I think people really realized, you know, that, you know, it's a big game. It's, it's two big games um, this weekend. So I think people know, you know, um, you guys are doing a great job promoting us, and we're, you know, always thankful for that. But um, it's only, what's today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday? So we have some time. We have some make. We have some time to get people here on Saturday. But I'm confident right now that um, you know people are going to come. Why would you tell people to come watch you guys play this 
Uh, it's going to be a show. I think people love just watching us play and the energy coach brings and then the energy we bring. And then if they come to the game before, the energy Keegs brings. Um, you know, it's just it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun um, weekend of women's basketball in South Florida. And I don't think, you know, spring break's going to be, you know, they can they can hold spring break for a couple hours. They, they should come <laughs> watch us play. Of, of course. I mean, um, my family's already hit me up about coming. Um, but, no, nah, I I usually, like, when we have games or something like that, I usually don't be like, you know, we got a game this weekend or whatever. But I've made sure, you know, <laughs> look, you, you got to come. We play Saturday. You got to come. Um, it's just a different feel. You know, it's not um, – I can't – I mean, every game's a big game. But I, I, you really just can't describe it in March. You know, it's a different feel. It's a different game. It's a different competition. So – I mean, I, like Mont said, I'm confident as well. Like, we'll have people show up. And what are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, throwing out the first pitch. <laughs> first two pitches, right? All right, first two oh, pitches. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wanted her to throw to her. I wanted her to pitch and her ah. to catch, but she had, they put her in the catching gear. So now we got two first pitches tonight. Have you guys ever – have you played? Yeah, softball I used to play softball. Fun. You did? See, so that's why I wanted her to throw it. <laughs> Have you practiced at all? No. Um, I mean, I think I'm, I'm just gonna wing it. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. If I can pass the basketball, I can throw a baseball. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, but I think, I think we'll be good. We're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be too bad. Shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Not a bad yeah, so idea. When's the last time you played? When's the last time you were on a mound or? Oh. <laughs> now, um, that's been a while. Probably. And I was about seven. <laughs> it's been a while. Maybe and I should I play the right field. <laughs> yeah, I still got it. <laughs> What's your message to uh, your teammates, especially the freshmen who have never known what it's like to play in NCAA games, and now that hopefully you know it's here? You know, what What do you tell them? Um, I mean, I, I actually told Shanice um, and Laura after we saw that we uh, got selected to host. Um, I said this is just the beginning, you know. This is the first time, um, but this is this is definitely just the beginning. And you all have seen it. You all have been through it. And um, you know, we had a pretty good year last year, and we had a pretty good year this year. So you all just got to keep it going. And I mean, I think that's the message to everybody, um, to all, to the freshmen, underclassmen. Um, you've seen it. So I mean, like you know what it takes. Preseason workouts. Uh, spring workouts, whatever it is, like we've been sent home early and we got right back to work. And this is what we work for all preseason. Um, so they know what it takes. Um, they know what they got to do. I asked Coach this question, but for you guys, uh, how much more special does it mean to have these back in the building? Um, I was actually reading an article this morning. I think maybe Tim wrote it. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't even know he noticed that you know, when it, when it popped up, Marquette popped up, I was like, I thought they were cheering for Keegs. So I was like, oh, Keegs. <laughs> and they were like, no, we're hosting. But so I think that just puts in perspective. I mean, I text Keegs um, the day bef the day of the Big East Championship, and I just told her, you know, um, go get this one. And then after she won, I text her. And she's just always been a person that, you know, even though she's far away, she's we know she's right there. Um, she's always a phone call away. And, um she 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 took us through some rough patches our freshman year, but she's turned us into you know she's helped us turn into turned us to the players that we are today, and um, we're just so happy to see you know how she's you know got that program and just to know that she's coming home and she's gonna see us play for the first time in person since freshman year is it's exciting. Um, you know we're not looking forward to the next game. We we still have to take care of Florida Gulf Coast, but um, we're just so proud of you know what she's accomplished and I know coaches because I, I know I feel proud you know mm -hmm. so I know coach just feels extra proud but it's just special just to see her again and just to hug her it's special I mean <laughs> you know, we talked about how she was tough on you first. yeah yeah she she was um but no she like Mont said she definitely um just made us turn to the players we are today um I mean you, you know you got Catfish Kate over here too, but <laughs> I mean, Keegs was like she was a different breed, um, and um, ourselves and Coach Blue we joke about it all the time. But she wasn't she she didn't expect anything less than ourselves every day. Um, so just to see where she's pushed that program, 
and what she's accomplished already. I mean, she's been there, what, three years and already won a big a conference championship. So, um, I mean, I, even when she left, we knew she was going to do great things wherever she ended it up. So, I'm um, just so and proud of her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then she – We played at Iowa. She, she, she came. She drove just to see them. She I mean, that's – so, yeah. yeah we, it's family. It yeah. truly is. I just think everybody's evolving. Um, you got Laura stepping up and making huge plays against Florida State. I think she went on like a 6 0 9 0 run by herself. Um, Sarah Morrison comes in and does everything we ask her to do. Um, Kiana Hayes been playing really well. Um, and Adrian Motley just been money Mott, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this team, I feel like we, we finally we, – we're hitting a stride. And um, Coach has said numerous times that uh, – there still hasn't been one game, though, that where everybody's played perfect. Um, but we haven't had that one just all-around all special game from everybody, um, from top to bottom of the roster. So, I mean, we're making huge strides. We're um, making huge veteran plays down the stretch. And um, just looking forward to see, you know, March is something special. So, just to see what happens there. excitement for this in the spotlight and, and obviously the, the team being toward your, your uh, enthusiasm for, for these kind of moments on the field in Florida and this, this game in this tournament? Um, I'm just, I'm still excited just about playing, uh, you know, at home. And um, I, my biggest thing is just giving the crowd a show. And like JT said, um, you know, everybody's been playing well so late, I mean, so well lately that um, it's just exciting to see what, you know, the future brings. And I'm just excited to play Saturday, honestly. I just I wake up thinking about playing Saturday. I mean, it's just it's it's just so exciting to know that we're hosting. We're not going anywhere, you know. People are coming to our place to play in the NCAA tournament. It's just huge. It's just you know, we're just blessed and we're just ready to go. I think and um, looking at everybody in practice, I think we're just we're just so dialed in and just even you know going into film today, like we're just ready. We're just eager to see you know what the coaches have, you know, to see what Florida Golf Coast looks like and. Just to, you know, just to play again. It's just a blessing. Not many teams are playing in a big tournament at their own place. So I think we're just we're just blessed right now. Mm -hmm. Adrian Matlis style. Um She's the most consistent player that's ever played here, and that's that's a heck of a compliment. I mean, she she walked in this place, and I would say Shanice Johnson was um, had that same type of uh, expectation or pressure to you know put the as a freshman to to put the ball in the bucket, you know, and 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 get the shots at the end of games and stuff like that. Um, but Mott's just been just so consistent, and um, but there's a next level. And when she's in that zone, which they're going to see some some film today of like, you got to feed her. I mean, when she gets there's a look, and uh, she doesn't even know she gives it off. But there are moments in games where there's just a steely eyed look that she has that it's like nobody else but Mott gets to shoot right now and um, make sure that we see those moments because when um, she can really elevate herself without outwardly really changing her, you have to know her pretty well to see it. But um, and that's where I think she's made a name for herself. Yeah, I've said this before, and, and and you you can't not fall in love with this team. I mean, there's there's maybe a couple games this year we might not have played to our emotional and and energetic capacity, but um, I think one of the favorite things for me is when you know little girls and little boys, even more little boys, that say you know we we love your team, we love how they play, we love see they dive and the energy and the cheering and the the bench and and that kind of stuff, and so you know we. It is. There's a lot of seriousness to what we're doing, and we're going to take this very seriously in a very business-like approach. But our hearts are just on display when you watch us play. They're just out there, and we don't act too cool. We'll be vulnerable. We'll put it out there. We don't care. You know, we, we, we jump how high. I mean, we're that team, and so I think that's a lot of fun. If you're going to spend two hours just see somebody just go after everything and not be scared, um, that's how, that's how we play. Anything else? All right, thanks, everybody.
Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.